Harbor Freight Daytona car dollies. Are they worth it or not? Let's find out. What's up guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today we're gonna to be doing a review for the Daytona car dollies that you can get from Harbor Freight. I've actually had these for about a year now, maybe a little bit less, um, and I've been wanting to do a review on them, but I wanted to have them for a long time to really give them an honest review. You can't really review a product on its durability and longevity if you've only had it for a day or a week. So um, I have had these for about a year and I've used them quite a bit. And for the most part, I have nothing but good things to say about them. This is Tony's 240. It currently does not have an engine, doesn't run, doesn't move. And so we are storing it on the car dollies just to make it easier around the shop. With it being on the car dollies, if the car needs to move for any reason, it makes it super easy to move around. Um, I will do a demonstration here in a little bit just to show you how easy it is to operate the dollies and how easy it is to move the car. Um, but, but let me tell you a little bit about my experience with them so far. Um, the shop floor that I have is not your typical garage floor. It is not a smooth, polished surface. It is very rough, more like a pavement parking lot, and there are big chips and dents and metal bars sticking out of the floor because this used to be a factory. It is not an ideal surface for these car dollies whatsoever. Uh, probably worst case scenario other than like a dirt road. It is not good in here at all. And these car dollies have been an absolute champ. I think I have a video of me pushing the Supra over these metal bars that are sticking out of the floor. You know, it's not the ideal situation. Uh, the dollies don't want to do it, but they have been capable of doing it time and time again. There we go. The instruction manual definitely says not to do anything like this. Unfortunately, I'm doing it. Oh, oh yeah. And we also sometimes use these to push our cars to the lift. And the lift is about 75 to 100 feet away in this building from our spot. And we'll push the cars all the way down there on the dollies do a 90 degree turn and push it on the lift and they have been absolutely flawless. Putting trucks on the lift, it makes it really easy. Really, these things have been a really good asset to the shop. Uh, to me and my friends, it really makes shop life a lot easier because when you have project cars, uh, a lot of times they don't run and it can be a pain to move them around. And over the past year, um, I've had two flip cars that we've worked on. And as soon as we get the flip car in here, we usually get them with bad engines. We'll get the flip car in here, put it on the dollies, and that way, if it needs to move for any reason, it's ready to move. The dollies just make life so much better and they're absolutely worth it. There's two ways that you can get these dollies. Um, you can go to Harbor Freight's website and you can piece it together individually. I have four dollies and the storage rack. If you buy them all separately, um, it's a big chunk of change. It's like a 120 bucks, I think, for each dolly plus another 30 for the rack. So you're talking a big chunk of change there. And I wouldn't say they're not worth that money. It's just a lot of money for me to spend on, you know, something that isn't like a power tool or a go fast part. I would just have a hard time spending that much money. But what is priced really well is if you get it as a kit and you can only do that in stores. I believe it's for $3.99, you can get all four dollies and the rack together and that's for $3.99. That is a deal that I really don't think you can beat. Um, it's really gonna make your life a lot easier in your shop if you have a big area and multiple cars where you have to play Tetris. Um, and even if you have just a two car garage and one car that doesn't run, it makes it so easy to flip the car around. Like if, if you have your car closer to the wall on one side and you wanna do some work and the car doesn't run, you know, it can be a pain to back it up and back it around and, you know, maneuver it in the driveway or in the street and then get it back in. Uh, with these dollies, you can just spin the car around by yourself and it makes life so much easier. Really, these things are an absolute lifesaver and I'm so glad I have them. Like I said, for the dollies themselves, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about them. They have been durable over the past year. You know, the 
floor in here has really put it through its paces and I couldn't be more proud. Um, but I did have one issue with the cart. Now, if you have a garage, you have a shop, this issue isn't really gonna be that big of a deal. It's more of just an annoyance. So here is the cart storage rack thing that stores the dollies. And here is one of the tabs. So they sit on these three. There used to be four tabs. And the very first time I loaded the dollies onto this rack and I just pushed it, this weld completely snapped. Um, if you look at the weld, <laughs> there was no penetration at all. Absolutely no penetration of the weld at all. So not that big of a deal. I can weld it back on, but that is just an annoying quality issue. Um, I haven't had any quality issues whatsoever with the dollies, um, but whoever welded this machine, person, child, whatever, not good. So that is my only issue that I've had. The other three haven't broken off. They've been perfectly fine. And even with that one broken off, you can still put all four on here. So why don't I do a little demonstration with this car, show you how easy it is to operate them and how easy it is to move. And uh, yeah, you can decide if you think they're a good buy or not. So I've got all four on the car already, but I'll show you how to take it off and put it back on. There is a little switch right here. It doesn't look like a switch, but this is how you operate it. You flip that down and then super easy, just start kicking. And then with this flip down, you can spread this and close it manually. Um, kind of an annoyance with this. I mean, I, I realize it needs it. I don't think there's a fix for it, but this is covered in grease right here to make it slide easier. And sometimes you'll get grease on your hand, but I don't really know of a way to fix that. You definitely need the grease, um, but sometimes it's just annoying when you get some grease on your hands. So that's how big it can spread. So it can fit a pretty large wheel. Slide it in there. And you don't want it to be up against the wheel. You don't want to potentially scratch it. They kind of angle this in a way where it should stay away from the wheel. But just to be cautious, don't butt it up against the wheel. And then when you're ready to go up, flip this up. And, uh, Start pumping. Get all four on the car and uh, we're ready to start pushing. Don't worry, Tony. I've got on some nice clean gloves so I don't uh, mess up your paint. Now, like I said, this floor is pretty rough and uh, it can be hard. Sometimes it can be hard to initiate the push. You gotta get all the wheels to turn and line up. But once you get the wheels pointed in the direction that you're going, it's pretty easy to push. Then it's a uh, pretty, make sure none of the wheels are locked. Then it's pretty easy to move the car. The dollies and the casters are pretty good. So I'm moving this car easily by myself. If you're on a nice, smooth surface, you can push this thing and it'll just keep going. So pretty easy to move. Oh, this is amazing. Got the car back into its original position. These dollies really do make it easy to move the cars around, maneuver them, get them out of the way, flip them around, all that good stuff. They really did improve our life. Um, I'd say they are totally worth it for that bundle price of $3.99. If you piece it together on the website instead of buying it in the store, it's still, you know, a life-changing purchase. 
These really do improve your life at your shop, but it's a little bit harder to swallow that price. Uh, but $3.99, I don't think you can beat it. So kudos to Harbor Freight for making these. Um, as for their cheaper Pittsburgh ones, I don't have any input on them. I don't have any experience with them. I don't, you know, just by looking at the pictures on the website, I don't see how they differ, um, but I couldn't be happier with these Daytonas. So I definitely recommend them. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope maybe you learned something and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.